Her fuzzies and welcome back to Sunny Peachy and I'm Peachy. Today I'll be reviewing Himi Jelly Gouache. I did a poll in Instagram and the Jelly Gouache won the first impression poll. My first impression on it. It was so cute. It's not surprising at all to hear that from me since the container is pink. Also the paint come in small plastic jars small plastic cups um, there are 24 colors in total I knew it was really popular a year ago somehow it was kind of hard for me to get it locally and the shipping was really expensive I didn't see it anywhere besides on Amazon at the time and it was almost $500 which is 64 US dollars without the shipping cost itself so I didn't want to spend so much as I already own the typical gouache and just one lucky day I went to stationery store for funsies and this was there. It was less than $90 which is around $12 USD. I'm really surprised with the huge difference. It's insane. I don't know why it was so expensive online but I'm glad I found it locally. Anyways, let's get back to the paint. It is individual cups with 30 ml of paint. In some way, this was very satisfying to unwrap or to open each color. I didn't look at any reviews on this paint, so I was kind of surprised with some of the color choices. It's normal to have some paint separation spots, so I'm just mixing it before using it as it can leave a sticky film on the dry paint after using. If you have a similar issue, you can just use a clean stick to mix it. I just like using painting spatulas since it will be easy to scoop the bottom paint and stir it evenly. Happy to say that none, I mean none of the paint were dry. I saw some complaints online that some of the cups were dry. I bought this last year and just opened in May this year. I didn't like the initial color placement so I'm just rearranging it. I had some paint on my hands while peel it so I can just tell this paint doesn't stain or tint your hand after using it. It can often be a problem to some artists having stained hands or fingernails. Now a swatch. Why is swatching important? Firstly to test out the consistency of practice or just to see how the color dries. I think sometimes people forget that paint often dries differently depending on the type of paint, the brand, or how much medium is mixed. What I mean by is adding water or oil, etc. Per my own knowledge, I do know that gouache dries darker. I'm also drawing a line with ink to see how opaque the paint is by itself and how does it carry with water. If you're going to do the step 2, make sure the marker or ink you're using isn't water soluble because it is going to mix with the paint. Alright, this is the side by side comparison of the colors that I swatch versus the ones which was shown by the company. The left is by itself and the right is added with the water for my swatch. There is a definite big difference as they're really wet paint and I compared it to a swatch of paint that was dried down. I'm pretty surprised some of the lighter colors are opaque. My guessing is that they had added the white for more pastel looking colors and the white is pretty opaque but not enough to cover the line. The darker colors are beautifully covering the black lines. I am a little disappointed with the yellows and orange. You can see the lines 
very visually besides that the colors are really beautiful and vibrant that's shown and the one from my swatch for deep red it is very different I really wanted it to be a saturated like the shown color however it is an easy fix to make a similar red just not convenient Hop on and let's head to the painting session. I'm painting on a cold pressed water color paper. The products I use in this video will be in the description. I'm going freehand painting the undertone of the subject I will be painting. I really love how it appears on paper, very vibrant. It works really well even with a lot of water. Just going to paint the outline of the spaces as I go and build up the details. One thing you notice is that the color tend to blend even if the tone is different and the paint under is dried. And the paint in the cups dries easily as the big surface is exposed at all times when painting. So having a water spray on the side while you're working is important so you can spray time to time and it won't dry out. Other thing you notice is that the thicker the paint, it cracks easily. So if there's a certain area you want a thick color, do the paint over rather than putting all in one go. There is a good amount of shrinkage which causes the cracks. This is just my opinion but I felt there could be other colors rather than some pastel that is a bit dull in color. Because to make the pastel you just need to add white into the existing color. I did end up mixing the pastel colors myself. I can I can see some artists who would love these colors though. Jelly gouache is very accurate way to describe it. It does jiggle, which means it's not really a good travel palette, but a sit down home kind of palette. I love that it comes with a space for brushes and a palette is provided. Be really, really, really careful to place it in a proper place because the color will mix if in if improperly placed. I think it is good and a tidy way to keep the paint. Also a good amount of paint that lasts us a while. However, if you're getting into painting with gouache, I wouldn't say it's a good to start with jelly gouache as it is a lot to take care or you have to be too cautious when using it. There are definitely better ones to start with, but this one is one of the most affordable ones for quantity wise. I hope this was helpful for you and you got to know more before buying the product. This is the last part. Before I go, I want to let you know that I post on Instagram time to time. And to see more of my content, please visit it. I post reels too or you could just come to socialize with me. My handle name is the same, at SunnyPeachy. And that's for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you like it. See you next time. Keep filming and tata fuzzies.